Hi, I'm Graeme Lewis and in this video we're going to discuss ordinary annuities. We're going to explain what they are and do an example with numbers and also do an example using letters to get the algebraic expression using financial mathematics. So, imagine you are saving $100 a month into your bank account. So you're saving $100 a month into your bank account. So every month you put $100 in and say the bank gives you 6% interest per year per annum, but they spread it over 12 payments, so per monthly. So it's spread over 12 payments. So per month. So this means straight away that this is an annuity. So an, an annuity is just because you're doing regular payments of $100 a month. The $100 per month is the annuity. You're putting $100 in. Now, obviously, the first $100 you put in earns interest the first month and the second and the third and the fourth. But the second $100 you put in earns interest the second, third, fourth, fifth. The third $100 you put in on the third month earns interest on the third month, fourth month, fifth month, sixth month. So your interest, uh, every annuity earns interest and it grows in a compound manner. So the term is the total number of payments. So in our example, let's say we take it over three years. So because we're doing it monthly, that N will be 36. Uh, which of course is 12 months times 3 years. So we've got 36 equal payments of $100. Now I is the interest rate per period. Because we've got 6% per annum, we want to divide the 6% by 12, which gives us 0.5%, and then we want to convert that into a rate, giving us 0 0.005. So our interest rate I is actually 0 0.005. So it's not written as a percentage, it's written as a number. In terms of how that relates to our geometric series, that means our multiplying factor would be 1.005, 1 plus I, which we'll talk about in a minute. So now let's build the table of what this looks like. So firstly, our multiplying factor is obviously 1 plus I because 1 plus i is 1 plus the interest rate of 0 0.005, so giving us our 1.005. So we put $100 in initially in the first month, and we get $100. In the second month, we get interest on that $100, right at the start of the second month or the end of the first month. And so we get interest on the $100, so I'm going to get 1.005 times the $100 that was in here, but also I'm going to put in another $100, so just add 100. In the third month, I'm going to get interest on everything that's in, so all of that, so all of that has to be multiplied by 1.005, so that would be 1.005 squared times 100 plus 1.05 times 100 and I'm going to put my monthly payment in, so that's how much I would have at the third month. The fourth month, I would have 1.005 cubed times 100, obviously I'm multiplying all of the third by um, 1.005, plus 1.005, sorry, this should have been a 0, 05 there, uh, squared times 100, plus 1.005 times 100, and then I'll just erase this here, because we know that now, and plus my new 100. So the amount I've got after n is actually, you can see the pattern here, this is a geometric series. You can see the starting number is a, so a is 100. You can see my common ratio is 1 plus i, 1.005, and we know that the sum of the first n terms of a geometric progression is a, times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus o, that the sum of the first n terms is going to be equal to uh, a, which is 100, times 1 minus r to the n, so 1 minus uh, 1.005, uh, to the power n over and then I've got my 1 minus r, 1 minus 1.005, but we know n, n is actually 36, because we've got 36 over 3 years, so I could put 36 in there, and then using your calculator carefully, you should be able to get the answer, 
and they should be able to get the answer $3,933.61. And that's how to work out an ordinary annuity. So the future value of an ordinary annuity is just the sum of the first n terms of a geometric progression. So now let's develop a formula for this. Okay, so if we let capital R equal the amount of the regular payment, so in the example above we were putting $100 in a month, so capital R was R, I is the interest rate per period, so above we were getting 6% over 12 months, so that was a half percent, so 0 0.005, and N is the number of periods, and N in the example above was um, 36. So let's now develop the formula in a table using those ideas. So in this table, we have, after one period, our future value, we've put R into our bank account. After two periods, whatever that time is, obviously I'm going to get interest on that. So I'm going to get 1 plus I, which is my uh, multiplying factor. In the example above, it was 1.005 times the R. After three periods, I get interest on everything there. Oops, sorry, I forgot to add on my monthly payment. Sorry, not monthly, my period payment, R, my regular payment. And so now I need to take the interest of all of this. So it's going to be 1 plus i, my multiplying factor times all of that. So that would be a 1 plus i all squared times r plus a 1 plus i times r. And don't forget this time to add my regular payment. And then if we do 4, we can see I now need to take all of the next term here, that's how much I've got after three periods, and I need to increase that by my multiplying factor, 1 plus i, so it's going to be a 1 plus i cubed times r, plus 1 plus i squared times r, you can see the pattern here, plus 1 plus i times r, and then plus my regular payment r. So we can see there, if we go to n, we do have a geometric series, it's written backwards, but that's okay. Um, we can see that the uh, last term is, a th when it's a 3, is a 4 here. You can see the first term is r, and the multiplying factor is 1 plus i. The common ratio is 1 plus i. So we can see that when we've got n, we would have here 1 plus i. This would be an n minus 1, because this number was always 1 less than that. 2 is 1 less than 3, and so on. And plus dot 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 plus 1 plus i squared r plus 1 plus i r and the final term is R. So it's written backwards, but that's a geometric series. The first term is at the end here, R. So the first term is R. The common ratio, little r, is my multiplying factor, which is one plus my uh, period interest rate, and my number of terms is N, if I want a general formula. So now let's put it into the sum of the first N terms. Well, I have two formulas to choose from um, here. I can use, this is usually my favorite one, but in this case, this one's slightly better. This one's slightly better because when I put R is I plus one in it, I plus one minus one makes I. So the one minus one cancels. Whereas one minus R would make minus I. So I'm actually gonna use the second formula there. So the sum to the first n terms, which is my future value, is going to be, I'm going to write the formula down, a r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. And a is capital R, that's my first regular payment, it's the first term. The common ratio is my multiplying factor, 1 plus i to the n, subtract 1 over, and then it's an i plus 1 minus 1, and as I said, the 1 minus 1s cancel beautifully, and you're left with capital R, 1 plus i to the n minus 1 over i. And there's your general formula, which is from a geometric series, for the future value of an ordinary annuity. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, I've made some more on this, so please watch those.